Hi, I'm Aaron Liao. I run Developer Evangelism here at DocuSign. It is a rainy June day here at the DocuSign office in Seattle, and I've got Dewey Wald with me. Dewey, welcome. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Dewey, tell us a little bit about what you do. More specifically, tell us how long you've been at DocuSign for. I'm one of the architects here at DocuSign, and I've uh, been here for nine and a half years. So I've been from the early days to the craziness we have now. Awesome. So we're doing something different with our video series. We're going to do a series of deep dive videos around maybe features that aren't quite as common, people don't use quite as much, and I figure the perfect person to show those to us is Dewey, who's probably seen all the features as they've evolved over time. So Dewey, what are we going to talk about today? Uh, today I'm going to show you conditional fields. Conditional fields are really good for cases when you have forms where if you fill one field out, you need to add some additional information based on another field, and you want that field to only be show up or be active when 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 something makes drives it to become active. Uh, I recently I, I play in Hoop Fest every year over in Spokane, and I had to make a player change recently and had a form that would have been perfect if they would have feed it through DocuSign and, and use conditional fields. Uh, instead, I had to manually fill it out and then get it signed, um, sent to my player to sign it and fill out the information about that player manually. If it would have been a power form in DocuSign with conditional fields, this would have been really easy and slick. Bummer. Well, and I can show you that because I've actually set that up on how that would work. The slick version sounds better. Let's, let's dive into that. Let's take a look at the cool version. All right. So what I've done is I've created a template. So I'm going to go ahead and open that template and show it to you. I've created a template that uses the HoopFest form. Um, and I've added three three recipients because they allow you to change two players at once. Okay. Um, and as you change a player, you you have to fill out all that information about the new incoming player and then who you're removing. So, what I've done is if you if you fill out a a player that you're going to be removing, it will drive all the conditional fields below it to show up for for you to fill okay. out about that for the user that's going to replace that person. That's right. Okay, so when you when you set up a conditional logic, you put you pick all the fields that you want to show up based on something that changes on this field. And let me show you this rule. So when I try to add, delete a player 1 from my team, I need to fill out player 2. So once there's data in this in this field, that's what this is telling me that when this field contains data, that I you want to show all the selected fields here. So you see all the ones that are um, check or uh, hashed. Hash, hash through. Cool. Okay. Yep. That means those are going to show up once when, based on this rule being true. And to take that one step further, we can go down to the credit card. And once if you select credit card field you will see that, let me just close this one, when you select the credit card field, you can also set up an additional lower level conditional logic, so if I pick the, that field, I can have conditional logic based on that, so once it shows up from then its it parent, unlocks then I, the... it, I can select that and it will unlock all the credit card fields cool. to, okay. to fill in. Right, So I've done that. by check, there's no reason to fill in credit card information. That's right, so I've done that, set that up for, for by player one, but now if I wanted to add an additional player, I'd want to do the same thing. So I want to add conditional logic for that guy as well. And then you would save this off in your template, and then you just have a, a power form that Spokane Hoopfest could put on their site that you would click and fill it out and send it in and you'd be done. Instead of um, having to print these, attach them to emails back to people over there, um, and, and uh, or printing it and faxing it, or even sending it via mail. Now let's show you what it looks like on the other end when the when the signer gets it. Okay. So we can go ahead and um, grab the. I have a power form already set up for this. Um, let's do it this way. Actually, let's get the power form URL and go directly to it and start our start our signing. Nice. So let's copy the URL. Let's go into the signing for this. Oops show you how the conditional fields actually work. So I'm, I'm going to put myself down as the team captain here, which I'm filling out the roles in the power form. And I'm going to replace my son, or I'm going to add my son to the, to the team. Okay. We're not going to. We're only going to enter one player. Cool. So we're going to continue. We're going to go into 
the signing part of this and you'll see how the conditional fields work. So I have, I have the ability to say what player I'm deleting and which player I'm, uh, or which players I'm deleting. So once I type in a player that I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove my other son because he can't make it. And you'll see that all these fields became became immediately active, immediately as active, and required to be filled out, which is what very Hoop, cool. Hoop Fest requires. Okay. So if I, as I take that off, you'll see that they go away. Sure. Um, in addition to that, you see also that down below, our our payment field has come up because it requires a ten dollar change fee. Okay. And you'll see that none of that. I can either pay by cash or check, but I could also go ahead and just give them my credit card by selecting to the, the credit card field, all the credit card fields pop Very cool, pop okay. So, and I, allows, and I have to then sign for that credit card, which we don't require a signature. For Hoop Fest doesn't require a signature unless you do the visa or the credit card. Okay, yeah, for check and, or cash, yeah, sure, that and, makes sense. So any fields can be conditional under, a, under a, another field. Very neat. So, and that's how that works. Awesome, this, this seems really slick. I, I guess uh, Hoop Fest would have really benefited from using this form, huh? Yes, they need to get this on their website. Totally agree with you. Thanks for showing it to me, too.